Hey guys, so I'm here in a city called Larnaca in the southeast of Cyprus. Now, Larnaca is the third biggest city in Cyprus. And I just arrived yesterday, so I'm going to make you a guided tour today. And we're going to start here at the harbour. So straight ahead. And going across to the left side, you have the harbour of Larnaca. And let's head down the promenade and see what it's like down on the prom. So Lonica, right, it's the third biggest city in Cyprus with a, a population of 72,000 people in 2023. And if you want to get here, there's lots of buses coming from the airport directly through to Lonica. So you fly into Lonica Airport, which is the biggest airport in Cyprus. And uh, if you get the bus number 425, it costs €3.50 and it takes you to Lonica City here and Lonica Promenade within about 15 minutes. And uh, the bus driver, he calls out the names of the hotels along the way, so it's really easy. You can get a taxi, but they'll probably charge you about 15 euros. But I recommend you use public transport. When you arrive at the airport, um, from arrivals, you have to go up one floor to the, to the departures area and that's the area where the bus stop is on the left side. So it's not in arrivals. You have to get the escalator up to the next floor and then just go to the left there as you go outside. And there's lots of different buses that go to Lonica. Um, the 425 was really, really quick, but there's lots of other buses as well. So to the right side, we have the Sun Hall Hotel here, which has a perfect position on the promenade. You're right next to everything and you won't need any taxis if you stay there. But if you go back towards the wheel and you take a left turning down that street and you see all the shops down there and some bars and restaurants and my hotel is called the Rye Street Art Hotel and it's absolutely brilliant. It's um, Every room is like a piece of artwork with Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson and all the famous pop stars in each room. And I do recommend the Rye Street Art Hotel. It's absolutely brilliant. It's about 30 or 35 pounds a night in the winter season. So here on the promenade, you can see all the gym equipment there. So it's an outdoor gym. It's totally free. And you can do your exercises there because it's sunny here all year round. It has more than 320 days of sun a year here in Larnaca. And there's the big wheel straight ahead. So you can get a view of the whole city up on the big wheel. So let's continue this tour along the promenade. Um, this is an area called Finicudes Beach. And it's famous for this uh, avenue here just lined with palm trees. It's the 17th of January today, guys, in 2023, and the weather's been lovely. It's about five-ish at night now, so it's getting a bit later. That's why it's a little bit darker, but um, I have to say it was lovely. It's about 19 or 20 degrees today, and I was sitting on the balcony at the Rye Street Hotel, and it was just absolutely lovely because I came from Poland yesterday, and in Poland, it's like zero degrees. It's so cold right now. And I came here to Cyprus because it has the best climate in the whole world. Now, Cyprus has a population of 1.2 million people. And it's the 158th biggest country in the world. It's located um, just south of Greece. And not far from Turkey. And not so far from Syria. So that's why it gets the, all the winter sun. And here's the beach of Larnaca. Just have a look on the left side, the Finicudes beach. And it's lined with palm trees. And the sand is yellow and sandy. I just love these palm trees up and down the promenade here. And the lights are round. There's nice round lights. Uh, we have Pizza Hut straight ahead. And all these different chain restaurants here. Um, there's lots of restaurants and coffee shops up and down the prom. All the tourist buses are arriving here. 
<laughs> uh, we have uh, many souvenir shops and kiosks along the front. Oh, it's nice, it's about half five in the evening and the sky's all clear and uh, the beaches look lovely here because I went to Paphos last year, in December last year, and it was nice and sunny every day, um, but there was no beaches in the city centre and that was a bit disappointing. I did really enjoy Paphos, but I have to say Lonica is a bit, a bit more beautiful here on the promenade um, because the trees are absolutely perfect here. There's the Ocean Basket restaurant straight ahead. That's supposed to be very good. Let me swing the camera around so you can see the whole prompt. So Lonica is a, a Greek name from the Greek history here, but some towns in that Cyprus also have English names as well because of the English history. And um, the English and the Cypriots are very good friends and lots of British tourists come here every year. And, uh, a lot of British military were based here actually in Cyprus in the past. And some towns here in Cyprus also have Turkish names in the north of Cyprus. Um, in Nicosia, for example, is the, um, is the capital city of this country. And 20% of Cypriot people live in Nicosia. Hey. Hey. The local people are really friendly, like you can see. And everybody speaks very good English here as well. And you have all the chains, obviously. You can see opposite, you've got... Um, You've got Cafe Nero, you've got Burger King, you've got all the chains. I've seen Costa Coffee opposite my hotel from my balcony today. So you get all the chains that you get back home here too. Here's a coffee kiosk on the promenade. And what, what have they got there? They've got chicken sandwiches for four euro fifty and mixed ham and cheese sandwiches and hot dogs for three euros. I went to some pubs last night and I was in the Solar Rock Bar and it was um, about €4.50 Euro for a pint of beer, the local beers. If you have beers like Guinness, obviously you pay a bit more, maybe five and a half, six euros. But um, I expected it to be a bit cheaper, I have to say. Um, the hotel bar was €4 Euros for a pint of beer, but most bars here are around €5 Euros for a pint of beer here close to the promenade. So opposite there you've got Starbucks coffee, Another coffee house next door as well. There's loads and loads of coffee shops up and down here. And the locals are chilling out, watching the people go by on the prom. I recommend Cyprus because it's hotter than other places. And I recommend this as a place for winter sun. Um, I've looked at the weather forecast and over the next week, it's gonna be 18 to 20 degrees every single day. So opposite, we've got a restaurant called Vivid. And we've got all the terraces. Let's take a look. I like that terrace with the yellow seats outside there and the palm trees. It looks lovely. Vivid next door, McDonald's. So if you walk about um, half an hour straight ahead from here, you get to Mackenzie Beach, which is a really beautiful beach area. And that's quite close to the, um, the wildlife park where you see the flamingos and the salt lake. I mean, there's four salt lakes down there here in Larnaca, about half an hour away from here. And you can park there for free and you can see the pink flamingos and you can see the ducks. And you must go there in the winter time. I do recommend you go in the winter, maybe from November to March, because that's the time when you can see the flamingos there. If you go in the summer, you won't see those flamingos, guys. And it's the second biggest salt lake in Cyprus. So there's the Al Dente restaurant opposite. Let's, uh, let's have a look close up. So they have a terrace as well. The promenade is lined with hotels. There's Friday's restaurant and KFC opposite as well. And Lonic is a city where people live. Um, the local Cypriot people do live here and that's why it's open for the whole year. So some of the other resorts like Ayanapa, you'll find that maybe 60% of the places are closed. Hey man. <laughs> and um, this place, yeah, everywhere's open. Uh, went out last night. The bars were two o'clock in the morning, last orders at some pubs. There was a karaoke bar opposite the Rice Street Hotel and that's five o'clock in the morning, last orders for drinks. And opposite we have the Bay Street 
restaurant, sports bar and grill. And there's the meeting pub where you see the Carlsberg sign opposite and the tuck-in which also has rooms available for rent and that's a restaurant and a bar and the meeting pub sports bar as well. So there's lots of sports bars here. Um, at the Rice Street Hotel where I stay, they show all the sports and the live football, all the Premier League and everything. They have a really good sports bar actually downstairs at the hotel. And I really like the roof bar, the cocktail bar on the roof. It was lovely when they gave me a free cocktail on arrival and a free beer in the sports bar as well yesterday. So here's the beach and the sea. And you can see a big ship out there at sea, like a cargo ship. And then straight ahead, you've got the harbor. Uh, lots of British tourists come here and lots of Russian tourists come here as well because of the close proximity. And the hotel was very busy yesterday, actually. I was surprised, but there was a lot of people in the hotel. And the hotel bar had about 30 or 40 people in as well. So um, it was busy considering it's the low season. There's the Carmacki bar opposite. And the Anan, that's a, a games place where you can go in and gamble. It's a gambling shop as well. And you can sit outside and have a drink. So opposite we have the um, Alexander restaurant for uh, Cypriot fish and chips. Uh, Cypriot fish specialities, it says there. I, I love seafood and fish. That's my favorite. So I'll be in there probably later on. You can get a meal here in the restaurants for about 12 euros or 15 euros. That's the kind of price range they're charging. So here we have the Navy Marine restaurant uh, with a name like the, the past here where all the Navy, British Navy were based here in the past. And it's advertising water sports on the left side. A lot of people come here for diving to Lonica. Um, there's a lot of diving schools around. And on the left side, you see the pier goes out into the sea. The air is really fresh. Um, uh, there's a restaurant opposite called Feng's House. That's a Chinese restaurant. And I also recommend when you're here, you should visit the um, St. Lazarus Church as well. It's, um, it's really impressive to look at. And it's got three types of architecture. It's uh, Byzantine and Gothic and Baroque. It's a combination, but you'll find that when you're here anyway. There's lots of things to see. But I do warn you, when you come here in the summertime, it's very, very hot. It's much hotter than Spain or Portugal. Um, it would be around 40 odd degrees in the summertime. So I recommend you come out here, kind of February, March, April or May. Um, April would be a perfect time here for perfect weather. Oh, look at the promenade here in the seat. Oh, what a lovely view. It's a bit cloudy in the sky, but it's still very nice. And now we're on the pier of Lonica. And here we go. You can see the beach now. It's not as yellow at the moment because it's the winter. And let's swing around. And that's where you find the Lazarus Church straight ahead at the end of that street. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col. And that's Col with a C-O-L. And please give your likes and comments as well, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.